Today we're with a uh, new entrant, a uh, new entrant since spring 2018 and joining us is Pat Gowing. Uh, Pat is a dairy expansion specialist with Chagas who has involved in a lot of new entrants uh, set ups. Pat and I suppose you look at the first, we're standing in the collection yard here, why did you cite the parlour here first day? Yeah, I suppose the big thing about a parlour and the siting of a parlour is typically a parlour lasts a long time in a site and we wanted to make sure it was future proofed so it's built around future developments and where the future cubicles are going to go. It's also allowable for expansion, so as you can see there's nothing behind us, so we can push the, the holding yard back further. And we also have it separated from the milk lorry and the tractor movement, so everything runs independent, so it's, it works well and it flows well within the yard. Okay, and what size? Now this is built here at the minute for 60 cows. Potentially this could go to 100 cows, this setup here could go to 100 cows. What size should the yard be? For every cow you have, it's 1.5 metres squared. So on 100 cows, well, on this farm, it'll be 150 metres squared whole yard. So the important thing with a whole yard and with anything with cow flow is space. So spa cow flow is just straight lines and space for the cows. So on this farm here in the collecting yard, we have room to add the space. And from a cow flow point of view, all cows will come in from the side and turn up into the parlour and be faced to the parlour to improve cow flow. Okay, Pat. Uh We've come from the collection yard into the parlour. What are the main criteria in a new build like this when it comes to the parlour? So one of the main things, and it's often forgot, is natural light. So it has to be, the cows have to see where they're going to encourage them into the parlour. So you can see here, the farmers left a lot of clear lights in the roof and on the side sheet. So there's a good natural light in the parlour, so it makes it a nice place for the cows to come in. So they'll naturally come into the parlour and won't have to be pushed into the parlour. So the operator can stay in the parlour and milk his cows. So yeah, in older parlours when you had six or eight units, there's typically a six foot door left at the front. But in bigger parlours, we're exiting a lot more cows at the one time and the flow has to be a lot better. So we're leaving ideally 15 foot from the front of the parlour to the dairy wall to allow, if so, if one cow stops, the other cow can filter around her. Another thing we're looking at in a lot of farms now, there's a lot of auto drafters being put onto farms. And an auto drafter is another area where cows can stop. So we're, we have to leave enough room for two rows of cows at the top of the parlour so they can exit and if there's any hold up it won't impact on the cow flow of the parlour itself. So what space should be left uh, for the drafting area? So we'd normally look to leave 30 foot so from the side wall of the parlour to the outside wall of the drafting 30 foot and that's allowed to put in a crush potentially an AI race foot bat and the other thing to remember is if you're putting in some sort of auto drafting crate or drafting system as herds increase you have to retain more cows in the draft area so we need space there, so typically we we'll hold 10 to 12% of the cows in a day and they need the same space as before as after, so by leaving 30 foot we're leaving the future proof to make sure we can ca carry what, uh, catch whatever number of cows we need for uh, AI. And also in this is, is the labour efficiency as regards cleanliness. The fall is coming to the front of the parlour. You can see the flow channel, maybe just comment on the flow channel going down to the back. Yeah, so on most farms uh, the, the main slurry storage or the dairy wash tank is to the back of the whole yard or at the end of the long parlour. So the dirt that gathers at the front of the parlour is a long way from a, a slurry storage. So on this farm here, they put in a flow channel and it's flushed through by the water coming off the parlour so to make sure it doesn't block. And all the cows exit on the flow channel and at a future date, the auto draft will be put onto the flow channel as well. So there's very little washing and scraping of dirt afterwards because it's all controlled by the flow channel. Okay, Pat, we have the Clecton Yard. We have a 12 unit parlour that can be extended to 16 unit parlour. We have a very good drafting yard there as well. Typically, what, what costings on this? Normally, as a rule of thumb, all in, we're any, for including the plant, the concrete and the roof, it's between eight and 10,000 a unit, and that'll depend on the spec you put in the parlour, but that excludes the bulk tank. Uh, typically, a bulk tank, a new bulk tank, is about 250 a litre. Thanks, Peter.